Sven Kramer, he is one of the speed skaters, and his coach actually wrote something on his board during the race, and it cost him the gold medal. He changed lanes, and it was a total, what I'm hearing, an elementary mistake, mm -hmm. something you should not be making in the Olympics, and totally cost him the gold. All right. Now, I love this story uh, for a number of reasons. Okay. <laughs> One, uh, I'm not a big fan of Sven Kramer. Uh, we did a story on him before where uh, NBC reporter comes up to him and says, hey, uh, can you say your name and your country into the tape? Because a lot of times as you're taping someone, you have them just say that into the tape so they can easily identify it later for editing. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Sven doesn't know that, and he thinks the whole world should know him. And he said to the reporter, are you stupid? <laughs> okay. Now, so he's known as the are you stupid guy. Mm. Oh, that's mm. got to hurt, Sven. <laughs> that's got to hurt going in the wrong lane. And now they're saying this is one of the biggest boneheaded maneuvers in, in, in almost in Winter Olympics history, certainly within his sport. Now, to be fair to Sven, you read the, uh, the article and, and find out what happened. And it turns out it wasn't really his bat. Right. And, and he listened to his coach, right? Yeah, one of his side coaches got a little confused about where he was at, but... I mean, I, I don't really think any of that's an excuse. This is the Olympics. She's Jackie's tougher than I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is the Olympics. You don't mess around, you know. I think this is just karma. This is just what happens. Yeah. And look, to, after he got famous for say, calling someone stupid, to pull this move, yeah, I mean, Jackie's right to somebody. Of course, you know, you got to listen to your coach, and that's a tough break, and they, obviously uh, the coaches fall to a large degree. But you're in the race. Because apparently they go inside lane, outside lane, inside lane, outside lane. And right. he knows he just did that lane. Exactly. Right? So he knows he's supposed to do the next lane. Now, I feel bad for him anyway, even though I'm now randomly against the dude, right? <laughs> okay, but, but I feel a little bad for him. But again, at the end of the story, Jackie, I stopped feeling bad for him because they explain that after it was over and his coach told him, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. He would have won otherwise, okay? Right. It looks like he would have won. He threw down his glasses, and apparently, like, kind of pushed off the coach a little bit, right? Yeah. See? He, he definitely knew it was that coach's fault, but, I mean, I, you have nobody else to blame but yourself when you're in the actual race. I mean, that, and that's a sore loser. But, yeah, and plus, you know, if somebody made that kind of mistake, obviously, it costs you a gold, that's huge. I get it. I, of course, you're going to be tremendously upset. But in the middle of the cameras and everything, yeah. you, that guy is also devastated. That coach is absolutely, positively devastated at his mistake. What you don't do is push him, you know. And look, you know, that's how it's reported. People who saw it could judge better whether it was an actual push or not or whatever. Right. But you got to be, at that time, console him a little bit, too. If you're, I think, if you're a decent human being. Exactly. I think it's a, definitely a team effort, you know, and so you shouldn't be... You shouldn't be going about it that way. That's just, that's poor sportsmanship. That's something you learn in, you know, fifth grade soccer. You know, you're supposed yeah, to shake everybody's hand. That's right, Jackie, but apparently Sven missed fifth grade soccer, even <laughs> though he thinks he's the shiznit, I right? I think he probably did. And he's like, you don't know who I am? I just won the gold. I'm Sven Kramer. <laughs> Are, you Are you stupid? stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Oh, uh, that's bad. I really don't like these sore losers. I think that's, that's just, just in bad taste. You're at the Olympics. Just be glad you're there. I'm right there with you. And, you know, he was supposed to win three golds, uh, and it looks like now he'll only win two golds. You'll be oh. all right, Sven. You'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Hey, Seuss, you enjoying that picture? <laughs> What's that? Oh, totally. After his, the way he acted in that interview, totally. Yeah. Oh, what happened now, Sven? Yeah, exactly. What happened now, Sven? Uh, Are you stupid? stupid? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to get a lot of hate for that. That's going to be great. That's okay. <laughs> uh, all right, what's next? The next story is the Olympian, Yveni Plushenko, awarded himself a platinum medal after not winning the gold. Uh, Jackie, so, I wasn't aware there were platinum medals uh, in the there. There aren't. Oh, he, there aren't. Oh, he <laughs> just felt that he deserved the gold so bad and that um, Evan Lasayak, who actually won the gold, just did not deserve it. And so he tried going above the Olympics which mm -hmm. has never been done before. I think this is another just poor, sore loser that is trying to just, you know, keep himself in the headlines, which, and that's not the way to go about it. I mean. So he's kind of like the Lady Gaga of the Olympics. Uh, he just needs to put a <laughs> phone on his head and a bird's nest and stuff. <laughs> he's just trying to sure. grab attention in any way. Yeah, I think so. And, I mean, he, I mean, he's, throughout the article I read that he, 
Keith believes he should win because he did a quadruple jump mm -hmm. and that um, Lasayek didn't do one. But, you know, throughout his whole um, routine, he was he wasn't, he wasn't flawless. He misstepped. He fumbled a little bit. So in my eyes, you don't deserve to win the gold if you're going to mess up. Somebody who did it a flawless routine deserved the gold, mm -hmm. and they won. You know, I, I'm not in a position to judge between who is how important a quadruple jump is as opposed <laughs> to the triple jump. And you know, they, what did you bob and weave your ass in the wrong place? Da da da. Uh, damn it, Jim! I'm a talk show host. I'm not an Olympic judge. <laughs> Okay, now having said that, my guess is that if you got the silver, that's what you got. <laughs> okay. And what's so wrong that's, with the silver? And silver's, you know, look, you know, it's it's a lovely piece of gold. Uh, what? <laughs> well, no, not uh, exactly. no, not really. No, <laughs> lovely uh, metal, I should say, and uh, and and not such a bad way to go. Uh, look, I guess my only problem with this, is, look, it cuts two ways. One, he's trying to grab some attention, and you know, don't hate the player, hate the game. So. I don't mind it. He's having a little bit of fun. He's a character, right? right? The flip side is, it's a little demeaning to the guy who won the gold. Like, you only did a triple jump. Oh, yeah, you yeah. should have done a quadruple jump. Oh, yeah, I give myself a plot. Yeah. And then you're like, ah, dude, I don't know about that, right? Yeah. So I'm a little torn on it. But overall, since he's adding a little zest to the Olympics, in my infinite mercy, what's this dude? Plushenko, you are pardoned. <laughs> God, am I not merciful? Am I not merciful? <laughs> You're being a little nice. A little, a little too nice. Yeah. And I'll tell you the second <laughs> reason for the pardon. Because these Olympic sports that, that rely on the judges, okay, th there's value in them. And I know some people love them, right? But it, it's like, who knows? Who knows if that dude's ass moved or didn't move in the middle of that thing, and then the East German judge comes in with the thing and the other <laughs> yeah. one, and et cetera, et cetera. I like games where, you know, you punch someone in the mouth, and then you <laughs> take the ball and you put it in there, right, wherever that is, and then you win. There are designated <laughs> points and there are rules right. the same way. Right, but and, and, and then afterwards there's not a dispute about, oh, who won the silver, who won the platinum, okay? <laughs> right. No, the ball, here, score, we win, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> is that American enough for you guys? <laughs> is that stupid enough for you guys? <laughs> I think it's easily comprehended. <laughs> All right, uh, Jerry. You know you usually get at me for that, but you're gonna leave it alone this time. It, it's it's actually pointless too. I mean, come on. Because <laughs> yeah. thing is, no, I, I generally with things judged by with judges getting you know deciding a, a a winner in an athletic event. Yeah, I generally have the same idea, but they have a system. And the thing is, one of the things he complained about was he said, well, I, I figured the sports be progressing and not regressing like it is because when you have quadruple quadruple jumps. And then you, we're not scoring it that way, the way the scoring system is supposed to be as of late. He's went into all this detail right. about how he thinks it's supposed to be that way. And, he, you know, he starts at a higher scoring level. But as you said, he didn't do it. Right. He landed it, but it was shaky. And I, think I, had to get, I mean, that's what you have to do. You have to kind of get mad at yourself. Damn, I'm better than this guy. I didn't prove that I was better than this guy. Right. And you know what the thing is? I guess part of what bothers me a little bit about it is, look, you took some risk taking the quadruple jump. Which is great on you, and I like that. I like risk takers, right? Right. But if it didn't quite work for you, I mean, it was great, but it was not good enough because the other guy was flawless. You knew you were taking that risk, right? right. So you got to live with the results of that risk, whether you win or you lose. And so, and as Jackie was saying, nobody likes sore losers, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's the only reason I pardoned him is because everybody's having fun. 